Hey guys, welcome to another painting tutorial for rookies, by a rookie. We're going to do rust today. Now you see this sword? I'm using it for a custom I have in mind, which I'll show off in a later video. But the idea is I'm going to make the sword really rusty. Now to do so, we'll be using Citadel Colour Technical Typhus Corrosion and Citadel Colour Dry Riser Rust. And that is it. So to do this, I'm going to take my brand spanking new dry brush I bought. Now, not because I can't get the lid off, I'm going to go get a new brush. Okay, we're going to use my trusty old brush, which is now a bit battered. But this one we're using. And I'm going to give this a little shake up. This is a technical paint, which means you don't paint it like usual. So... I'm going to go into the paint and just all over this sword. So let's do it. Now obviously the thicker you put it on, the denser the technical aspect of this will be. It's slightly something to bear in mind. making sure you cover every edge. Okay, so this had one coat on it, and as you can see, there's still some patches where it's showing through. I want it just a little bit more rusty. So that's what we're gonna do, we're just gonna rust up a bit more. Just by adding the second coat. Again, making sure you cover every edge. Okay, so this is now two coats on it, and what we're going to do is we're going to let it dry and see how it looks. One thing to note, we obviously did cover this area down here as well, because that is metal as well. We want it to have that rusted appearance as well. Okay, so we've put the paint, the corrosion paint, all over the edge, and as you can see, this is the end result. It's looking good, looking really good. It's still got some of that shine coming through. I don't know how well this is going to show on camera, but you see how it looks nice and rusty. Now there's one more stage to do in this. Let me just get rid of this. There we go. And as I showed you earlier, it's to use this. Riser Rust, we're going to dry brush it all over. Now, when it comes to dry brushing, you can use a flat tip like this, or rounded tips like this. I'm going to go with the rounded tip. I'm going to use the nice small one, just to sort of give me a bit more direction and I can go a bit smoother and I can also twirl it like this. So let's start with that. I'm going to open our riser rust. Now Citadel dry paints are a lot thicker and by a lot thick I mean they're basically thick. See? <laughs> um, and yeah what you want to do, dip your brush in like so, get some tissue. You might remember this from all my other videos because I haven't changed it yet. Turn it this way. Get off as much paint as you can. There you go. And we are very gently going to just dry brush up and down the blade, okay? So you want a nice loose grip and you just want to dry brush just gently just to get some colour on there. I don't know if you can see that. It is coming on slightly. I'm going to do the edge a lot because that would be really rusty. And yeah, you just want to gently dry brush up until you've got a level of it that you're happy with. It is easier to go lighter and keep going light and build it up as opposed to putting it on really thick and then trying to remove it. One thing I learned, nice and light, build it up and you go from there. So I'm going to put one or two layers on and then we're going to go from there. Okay, so this has had one and a bit coats on it. And as you can see, it's really starting to build that colour up. Did you see that? Starting to look a lot more like rust here. I've gone heavier at the edge of the blade because I figured that would get the most action along here and then this little bit here, the small section there because I figured the smaller metal, the quicker it'll rust. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've done. Okay, and then this is probably where I'm going to leave it. That's had three layers of this dry brush on, and I'm actually super happy with the result. Trying to do this through the camera. There you go. 
Do you see that? I am very happy with this. And yeah, this is exactly how I'm gonna leave it. So yeah, this was a really simple painting tutorial. Um, you can literally do this with any uh, weapon you get. You just need these two paints. If you wanted a little bit of extra detailing, you get one of the normal long swords or any sword, just use an X-Acto blade. Just take out some chips through here. Just like this one's already got pre-made ones, but take out some chips, give it some depth, and there you have it. Uh, but yeah, this time I'm leaving it for this custom figure I'm going to be planning. You will see the figure when it's made. I'm hoping it looks as amazing as I hope. And yeah, again, very simple technique. Any newbie can do this. If I can do it, you can. So give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. If it was any hump at all, I'll be doing more of these tutorials. So please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.